Happy New Year and happy curfew, everybody. We got Spider-Man 2 to talk about, PlayStation Black Ops 2 Remake. I want to talk about everything in this video. So make sure to smash and hit the subscribe bell for free social credits. Coming in at our number 10 spot, shout out to the homie Ellie for adding me in this situation. Because apparently, according to Optical Cinema, every suit in the upcoming Spider-Man game for PS5 will reportedly have a symbiote variant version. And that's actually pretty good news. The only sad thing about this game here is that it's going to be coming out in 2023. And I don't want to put like salt on anybody wounds out there, but it's likely gonna be a Christmas title which means that 2023 holiday season so are we really gonna have to wait two years for this masterpiece of a game I mean damn homie can a brother perhaps get it a little bit early but at number nine we got some free games originally this was a rumor but apparently Tomb Raider the collection now listen man if you want to talk about Lara I'm here 24 7 okay I I'm just saying now you can actually put in your download list and play the game in 4k oh, so you better run shaking. it fast and put it in your download list and shies are like that also sony ben's men in black game is rumored but some articles are saying it's likely a hoax some are saying that it's actually legit there are rumors going around regarding men in black as well i feel like it's gonna be a really good game but let's be real uh it's always better to not let your dogs out and keep your puppers on the list plus 25 social credits if anybody can get their dog to smash the like button but also this is some of the wildest story i've ever seen in my goddamn life okay earlier today i talked about this situation because we got j god we got aiden we got nate shot we got all the call of duty pros just hammering down activation left and right and this is just the wildest situation now you will think that modern warzone what they said is the wildest thing out there but just wait okay modern warzone is the most positive call of duty news account ever okay and even they came out and they said call of duty is in shambles at first i said damn okay damn homie but then i was like Hey, I'm okay because Robert Bowling. Now, if you're somebody that never played Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, you missed out. I feel like that only the 90s kids know about him and know about how Call of Duty was like. I mean, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, back to back bangers, okay? And all of us are having a hard time looking back and looking at the current games out there. But Robert Bowling, he's the ex Call of Duty dev. He peaced out years ago with Activision, but apparently he came out and had this to say, it's time to build from the studs up. We need more than iteration, we need revitalization, a focus back on core gameplay and not content gateways. We used to treat our players like community and not consumers. We brought them into the fold for map feedback, not market feedback. I mean, damn, okay, damn. Man just threw an EMP grenade at Activision and to make the matter a little bit chill out there, even Optic Scumpy came on. Now this is the same homie that was fined for actually saying his opinion. He was charged by Call of Duty years ago because he said something mean about Call of Duty and here we go again. So says that competitor Call of Duty is down bad and this makes me very sad. I'm not sure if he's gonna be fined again or not but this tweet is blowing up over on Twitter. We got the blame truth out there. The situation is kind of tough. I mean let's hope the homie does not get fined and I know some of you will be thinking well there's no way he's gonna be fined money for saying his opinion in the past he really was there is some sort of law or some sort of shiza behind the scenes that i don't understand but it, it is actually true and the situation is so sauce i mean god damn man activision is trending homie came out and says that when the checks stop rolling in from activision because modern warzone said that i said it before and now i will say proudly again that vanguard is the best call of duty and then later on says call of duty is in one of the worst states that have ever been really hope things improve soon people not stopping people trying to book at each other we got the chain feeds out here that was caught like reverse boosting in the game out here another man says that being a halo player in 2012 watching your game falling apart while call of duty was thriving with black ops 2 really was was painful my guy black ops 2 was the best call of duty game out there man uh, for the time it was just amazing and still is considered one of the best if not the best totally understand what call of duty players are going through now with the franchising and activision wish there could be a universe where both games thrive and that's what i'm saying man this man summed up everything ign came out and said that dish ai tool offers a glimpse at a realistic kratos and if this is a real kratos then i don't want it <laughs> i don't want it man like look at this i mean damn my guy got the chub on it listen man if you look like a stud donut out there you're a stud donut okay we love the stud donuts out there we love the stud muffins the donuts we love everybody out there but what the flip is that my guy is completely soulless out here we got that tall lady out here and they made her look vitamin d deficient i mean god damn man but we also got this picture out here and the real life version looks like that she got hit in the 
<laughs> she got hit in the jeans. You know what I'm saying? We also got the homie Joel out here, and it looks kind of good, but let's be real, man. Naughty Dog just swung that golf club the hardest way possible in Last of Us 2, man. Never forget, okay? Never forget. Also, Mutant Insight is hiring staff for work on high end RPG remake for PS5. Nobody knows what this will be, but apparently, in the past, they worked on Atelier series. Uh, they also worked on Final Fantasy downloadable content and much more. And this news is going around because they apparently put up a job listing. So they are hiring staff and they're working on a PS5 remake. Now, speaking of Black Ops 2 remake, I recently made a video on it and so many people get it wrong. We're not talking about a remaster, but a remake. A remake is essentially a new game. And the information is coming from Tom Henderson. And Tom Henderson actually followed up with my video. And he says that in case you ever need it again, Treyarch next game is also semi-futuristic. Boots on the ground if you want. 2023 <laughs> information so he was the first guy to say that call of duty 2023 is gonna be another black ops game and it's essentially gonna be a black ops 2 remake just like how black ops cold war is a black ops 1 remake with the time era uh, obviously they brought the homie frank woods back so technically that is a soft reboot and a remake and the next track title in 2023 will be a Black Ops 2 remake. I talked about all of that like tak 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 and there was a Treyarch dev who also came out indirectly confirmed zombies because Mr. T likes to fire out there was like eh, a gauge no way we're gonna get zombies. He's disappointed with zombies and understandably so but Treyarch dev confirmed that indirectly that we're gonna be having zombies. We also ended up getting this post that ended up getting Buka Kid not by Activision it was deleted by the owner. It says possibly the first leak images of Call of Duty 2023. I'm like really okay Okay, because listen man, I don't believe in this one. The guy says that for anyone not familiar with Call of Duty stuff, every Treyarch game is internally titled TX. So Black Ops 3 was T7, Black Ops Cold War was called T9, and Black Ops uh, 2023 will be presumably called T10. And we got these images, right? Originally, I was not gonna show these images in the video. I was like, you know what? These might be legit, these might not be legit. I'm not sure, okay? Activision might strike it down, but I waited a little bit, and so far, Activision has not strike down these images so that tells me that these images are not legit and even if they were to take them down i would be like nah man i don't believe that these images are legit maybe they are like super early version of black ops cold war or maybe they are for real super early version of the next black ops title yes we're gonna have another black ops <laughs> black ops title at this point listen man at this point i'm just i don't care about the name as long as the game is good right but these images are circling around everybody's talking about them some people believe Leave it some people don't i feel like that it's just cap my cap meter is off the charts one if your cap meter is off the chart two if you believe these images and you never know these images might be for real right because obviously the next game is early in development uh, for for treyarch right it's gonna be in 2023 but i'm making that simple comparison because modern warfare 2022 images were leaked out by the big homie tom henderson it was a concept art a pencil drawing and activision did strike those images so if they could strike those images why not these because these are way more out there than that of modern warfare leaks right you, you know what i mean right so i just don't believe them some people are saying that some of the logos are that from black ops 2 especially like the these faction logos uh, i'm not sure about that one obviously black ops 4 was supposed to have factions but we never got them this could be like pre-alpha stuff for black ops 4 or maybe for black ops cold war if it turns out to be legit i'm not sure if we're gonna ever know about it because listen man by the time this game comes out it's gonna be a night and day difference compared to these images but coming in at our number one spot the most anticipated gaming story of them all put your kids to bed hide your wife sit down if you're standing up and also i'm uploading reaction videos on the channel uh, if you're a stud muffin we are bonding in those videos so definitely check those videos out on the channel this is the best and the worst news at the same time so sony gave every player participating in the playstation fiesta ball a ps5 console with call of duty i mean <laughs> what did those poor players do to deserve call of duty vanguard but click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there just click it man you're gonna